Okay, so before we start this video, as always, um, I would like to say very quickly, I would love to thank um, all my friends, uh, my family, uh, you guys, the people that support me, and so forth and so on. Um, we got the hot rod running and driving. And we took it to the cruise in. And I didn't film a lot because I just really soaked in the moment like I, you know, as much as I could and had a blast. So without talking your head off, I just wanted to say thanks everybody that backs me, supports me, is my friend, gives me advice. Um, nothing is too big or too small. You guys are great. And I hope y'all enjoy the video. I will see you in a few minutes at the end. So, just wanted to say something real quick. If this will focus in. It's a shipbox supply. So, if you boys don't know who Matt Rice is. Somebody's awfully sleepy. If you don't know who Matt Rice is. Well, you need to figure it out. Because... I will never, ever, ever buy another line or fitting unless it's from Shipbox Supply. Um, I spent 30 minutes making one line versus 30 minutes making three lines with Matt's stuff. Um, haven't been filming a whole lot, but we got the trans cooler mounted. Hold on a second. It, it don't look the best, but hey, it's got uh, padding. It looks cool down here. I got a little fan on it. Oh man, it won't focus in. There you go. And uh, I got the lines made. All I got to do is bolt them up. But I ain't been filming much because I've been mad. I've been cussing. I've been yelling, and I've been trying to sawzall all this pro mod in half. Kirsten, what do you got to say? Tired. Tired? Yeah, cool. Well, anyways, Wednesday night, we got some shit finally accomplished. I'm going to put the radiator in. Kirsten went to Royal King. I don't know what I just kicked. Kirsten with the Royal King and got this gosh dang tractor belt. You told me to. Hey, we're going to run it so it don't matter. But anyways, we're waiting on the low dollar sensor. I figured out uh, what that was instead of buying the race pack deals. Did you hear my stomach? Yeah. Boy, I'm hungry. I brought you food. Yeah, I know. I need to eat some of it. But uh, the sensors will be here tomorrow, one for the uh, water temperature, and then we're going to put one uh, on the trans. It's a pressure and temp sensor. What a genius Brandon dollar. Uh, then we're going to put the radiator back in. I think I'm getting ready to do that. We're going to put the radiator back in it, and I'm going to plumb uh, that way when I get that fitting. I can go ahead and put it in and just screw my my line on. But now we're starting to make a little bit of progress. We got some parts. And uh yeah, we'll zoom out. Let you look at the hot rod. Now we're going to bed. We will see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, we have got a ton accomplished. Uh I got off work about uh hour and a half ago. And we've got a lot of little shit wrapped up like the, ooh, yes, I need this. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got the correct fittings now. Um, but we got the, the trans and pressure uh, temperature uh, sensor from low dollar. Uh, we got the water temp sensor from low dollar. Uh, what else do we get? Yeah, that was, that was the sensors. We got them, those hooked up. 
uh, I got to wire the the trans sensor, the trans temp sensor. But after that, all we got to do is plumb the water passages, and that's it. Now later on, we're gonna have to do the nitrous plumbing and stuff like that. But to cruise, uh, we are gonna make it. Um, I don't know why I didn't think we would, just because parts really. But we're gonna make it. We're having a good time. Bugs coming over to help with the race pack, do some plumbing and stuff like that. And we're gonna be wrapping this deal up shortly. We'll fire it up and run it a little bit on the jack stands, make sure it's got gear on and stuff like that. And we might take it up and down the road real quick if we can keep it cool. Right. So uh, we'll be back shortly. All right, so since the last time we have been on camera, it was daytime and we were getting a little bit of stuff done but we weren't rocking and rolling like we should have been. We started rocking and rolling. Bug got here. Um, ended up finding some problems with the radiator. It had a split in it. Let's see if I can find it. It had a split towards the bottom. The, uh, I don't know if it'll focus in and you can see any of that. No, maybe, yeah. Right around here had a split in it. We ended up, Carson Rudd showed up with uh, some epoxy something. I don't know what it was, but it fixed it. We put water in it, it was great. We got the plumbing done for the water crossover to the water pump. We changed some lines around to the carburetor, mounted the fuel log, got some sensors, tidied up a little bit. Dad sitting here working on the linkage. Bug let us use this linkage off of his car. We're robbing parts and doing all kinds of crazy stuff to make this cruise. Big bar on steel. Yeah, big bar on steel. Not the steel part, we, we ain't real big fans of that, but we got the, uh, of, of course we got the trans uh, cooler done and all that. We're just clearing over some odd and end stuff. The only thing we have left to do is wire the fans. What else we got to do? Yeah, we got to run the, the radiator to the neck. I'm going to have to make something. Bug had a weld-in bung, a 12 over there. And we're going to probably take that quarter inch 6061 that I used to make our mid plate and front plate. Sunny, and Sunny's coming over tomorrow night to set the toe. Okay, Sunny's coming over tomorrow night. Put a little alignment on it. You got some bolts to put in your wing, and you, know, you should be. Cool. Oh, do we got some bolts to put in the wing? Yeah, you got two uh, roofing nails just pinned back there. Well, you need to put yeah, some... I knew that. Well, you, you need to poke that. Yeah, in. we probably should. <laughs> Before we go get some downforce on the thing. I'd say we probably should. But we got the tractor belts on it. We got everything all kind of jumbo tied up in here. I, I like the way it looks. If y'all don't like the way it looks, then... It's a trailer park garage. Yeah, it's trailer park garage. I, I did my best. I feel like everything works pretty efficient. And it works as best as it's going to get. Especially with the water pump. And the uh, the next side or the the neck fitting on the same side but we're rocking and rolling now we got a couple things to finish up it's uh 12 o'clock i'm getting ready to hop in a hot rod and go to town oh yeah i forgot we got the o2 sensor yeah we got that deal hooked up but we're getting ready to go to town and Go to Illinois to drop off our other truck. Come back home, get to work on this thing, and cruise it around the yard or something. I don't know. We're going to have to do something, ain't we? Yeah, you'll probably make a few hits out front. Yeah, we'll probably mess around out front you'll, or something. You'll cruise through Beaver Dam. Is that where you're at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hartford. Hartford. Yeah, we'll do a little cruising this weekend. Uh, this is not... Somebody said something about, like, you should uh, keep the other truck cruise 
do something with the mild steel truck and then heavy race this one we're not really going to cruise this thing a lot i mean i'm probably going to run it for five minutes this weekend up and down the road uh we are fully aware that this is a hot rod uh, i mean a real deal race car um we're not trying to uh finagle anything and and call it what it's not this is a full-blown race car and we intend to do some full-blown racing with it don't we that's right so we will see you guys tomorrow well today is tomorrow i think hold on what is it 1202 yeah, but uh long. yeah i'll see y'all in a few hours okay so we're at the milk madre's house we are getting ready to haul this thing to sodoris illinois um this was a hot rod that we was going to build to try to go fast with but i found something that i can go faster with and that's an obvious no-brainer can't afford to do both light went off it sucks but now look at that yeah milk Marjorie Marjorie. to the rescue to the rescue but anyways we're gonna rip this thing to sedoris um it's two in the morning correct it's a four hour drive when we get back home we're going to thrash them more on the hot rod and get it done that way saturday we can cruise all right let's go on right cruise a pro mod <laughs> what about if it goes on YouTube? <laughs> this, uh, yeah. Eight months. Yeah, we want to see it when it's done. Eight months? You think eight months it'll be done? I think it's so. <laughs> It'll be ready by spring next year. Really? Yeah. Cool. There it is. The hot rod is leaving the trailer park garage. Hopefully to be seen again but not raced against right we don't race. okay. raced with yeah. <laughs> holy smoke so i just realized that i have not videoed nothing uh since we've been working on it got home mr kodak came over we wired the uh fans for the trans cooler boone come over messed with the race pack stuff finally got all that deal worked out Mm, did some plumbing finished up the water side we got all the water in it bug got us the uh little bung to weld in steersman got that wrapped up for us all the homies come together got to work now it's uh one in the morning everybody's heading home we're going to get up in the morning go get some straps put it on the trailer wash it maybe maybe not and hit the car show at uh, well, 8, 8, something like that. Yeah, 8 in the morning. So probably no sleep for us tonight. We will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, look at the hot rod, man. Got the big bullhorns. They're chirping, baby. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay, so I ain't been filming a lot of the stuff that we got going on. Um... So we've been letting out Cody and Shayna's dogs. So last night around, uh, real late. But when we go to bed, three o'clock. We, we finally yeah. went to bed at three thirty. Uh, woke up at six thirty. Overslept because we have not been getting much sleep here lately. And I was just like, blah. I don't know why, but I, I hate oversleeping. So we overslept. We made it from their house to ours in 11 minutes, which if you know that distance is heroic. Go Kirsten Lanham. And uh, we got the truck, everything loaded up by 7.30. We're supposed to be here at 8. Only steersman calling, he's like, man, eh, you know, whatever. It's kind of shitty weather and stuff like that. So we're taking it easy now. We're cruising to the car show. We're gonna unload it a little bit up the road, cruise in. We're gonna try to enjoy our day, have some fun, because damn, we've been putting in the work, but guess what? The freaking hot rod is gonna cruise today. So we're about to pull it off the trailer. Probably it's gonna take five or 10 times because that's how many times it took for us to figure out how to put it on since that piece of junk set so low. Pro mod shit. And um, yeah, we're gonna try to have some fun. 
So we will see you guys at the car show. We're gonna pull it off, bolt the bullhorns on, and then get jiggy with it. So see you guys here in a minute. All right, so we got the hot rod all parked and uh, shined up. Kirsten made sure to get that deal clean. We got the Band-Aid on the, on the paint chip right here. But we got the hot rod out here at the cruise in. It's nice to see it parked into weeds, baby. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, go check on Jamie. Jamie's throttle hung. We didn't get that on video. Yes, we did. Did we? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. But uh, Jamie ended up getting a throttle hung, hit the pole. We got steers in here, being all famous and stuff. Mr. Street Outlaws. <laughs> talking to, shirt. yeah, show them the new shirt. Steersman. Well, damn. Steersman's got the new shirts out. <laughs> Over there being famous. Check out this hot rod. Uh -huh. What do you think? Oh, I try not to, it hurts. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> what are we about to do? We're living our best lives. That's right. And we're gonna go make some hits. Yes. <laughs> we almost forgot. Check it out. Trailer Park Mafia, baby. We're gonna load them all. Oh yeah. What was that, a 28? Yes, sir. Oh man. It's about to get wicked out here, ain't it? Hey, we better check the tires. Yeah, probably. Okay. So, Dion Hayden and family decided that it would be a great idea to come hang out with us and go to a cruise in that we was gonna have the hot rod at. Well, the hot rod's messed up. We can't fit the big tires on it. So we decided to, I guess we're gonna go out here and do some testing in the streets just because, why not? And are we gonna go fast or what? You got a draggy? Yes, sir, we got a draggy. Oh, man. We're gonna try to get at least a six flat in this old turd. Six flat. What are you? That would probably be the fastest test pass on this road Let's ever. hope we can do this. What do we got? What are we looking uh, for? 13. We got nitrous jets. That's all that matters. <laughs> Screw the tire pressure, we got jets. We're about 12. <laughs> and spare spark plugs. Hey, yeah, and, and spare, yeah. That'll work. Let's try that. Right. If we don't like it, we'll, we'll redo her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can like dry hop it. Yeah, see where she's hooking. Dry hop it with the kit on and see what it does and then back it right back up. You wanna bring that light over here? Yes. Man, this little camera light's the stuff, ain't it? It is. Oh, goodness. Look at that ghetto polish. The ghetto polish, baby. This is my $2 bottle from Walmart. Oh, shit. Oh, it's... Why don't you put the juice in it? Yeah. Oh, we're mixing it right here. It's getting serious, ain't it? Oh, shit. Oh, it's getting real serious. Oh, dear Lord. See how much I this time. Oh, the light's spazzing out. 
Looks like it's gonna see how you smack it. Battery getting weak? I think so. That's alright, I'll put another one in it. Nice. And that's perfect for like one burnout, ain't it? Well, we used to get a little bit out of it, actually. This thing's spread pretty good. You're gonna educate us a little bit this evening. Shit. Yes. Pretty good. Yeah. What was it, a water bottle? Yeah, like a little sports bottle. $2 at Walmart. Some trailer park mafia stuff. Yeah. What is this? We're gonna see where we're at on this bad boy. Man, it's got a weird smell to it. Yeah, it's a little over six. Cheers. Is it? Oh, yeah. Is the heater on? It smells like a cherry liquor. It is on. Yeah, it's working. Sweet. Well, then we'll just let it warm up and then okay. we'll bang it. My hands are just neck. Try to dry hop it. Oh man, look at your timing mark, right in the bend. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's a tune right there. How many threads is it burning now? Two threads? Eh, it's got a little bit of discoloration right there, around the, the circle. Damn, I like Dude, that's a good looking, that's a good looking plug. You like that? I'd leave that tune in it. All right. What happened? Tell them, tell them what happened. Well, we made a decent hit. We hit the rev limiter a little bit. But I think Danny's got her rolling. Oh my God, get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. No, we got the tune right, plugs look good. Got on the rev limiter and, and popped out of both tubes just a little bit. We turned it up so that we ain't gotta worry about hitting it. And we got us a little hot ride on our hands now. Gonna take this thing back to 
wherever the hell you came from. Mexico, Missouri. Mexico, Missouri and bust some ass, <laughs> baby. Bust some ass. Hey, what do you think about uh, racing the kiddo? Think we could whoop that ass? I don't know. You think we could whoop that ass? I think I think the kiddo's gonna whoop dad's ass. Hey, we didn't let's turn the second kid on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't make me turn the second kid. What do you think? You think you can whoop that ass? I don't know. I don't know what mine's gonna do. Oh goodness. Alright, homie, so I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sitting here on a big tire. We didn't film much of the stuff that we did when we got back home after the cruise in. Uh, we didn't film much stuff at the cruise in. We didn't film a lot of stuff. This is probably going to be a shorter video. I don't know. I haven't all put it in a Adobe. But uh, Dion Hayden and Fam just left uh, the compound of Trailer Park Garage. They came down for the weekend from Missouri. We had a blast. Uh, we got to work on uh, you know some hot rods and stuff like that. Uh, I got to do a little tuning and stuff, and you know, it worked. Uh, the plugs looked good. Everything sounded healthy. Uh, he, you know, he said that it, it ran, you know, probably the best that it, that it has. Hope he's not pump faking me. Um, but it made me really happy, you know, to work on on a hot rod for somebody else, a friend, and you know, make it run good. You know what I mean? Uh, our hot rod is giving us fits again. This is a uh, 33 16 50. So if any of you fellers got a 32 uh, 14 50, um, I'd like to try it. The problem is, rubs the calipers. We did not have it on. This was done before we got it. They done grounded a bunch off of the brakes. Uh, but it's got a bunch of spacers on it. The offset isn't right to run this big of a wheel without, or, or, or you know, without clearing the uh, brake caliper. So, if any of y'all got some used uh, 32 1450s for sale, uh, Mickey's or Hoosiers, I'm not prejudiced. So it don't matter. But if anybody's got some, hit us up on a Trailer Park Garage page. I hope you guys enjoyed the craziness of this video. Um, we got the hot rod done uh, to cruise. We got it started. We ran it up and down the road. We put it on a freaking trans brake and let go of that dude and did a freaking rolling burnout with them pro brackets. Uh, Jamie hit a telephone pole. You know, Dion Hayden and fam come into town. Steersman put 29 fives on his car, you know, and this was, he was running 33 1650s. And I don't know, it just, it, a lot's going on. It's it crazy. It's cool. Weekend. Eventful weekend. Eventful three weeks. But we're finally into the closing days of the hot rod being at the racetrack and testing. We was going to test it on the street tonight, but the tires wouldn't fit. And also, the thing keeps killing itself. There's a wire shorting out, ground, something, not too sure. But you'll just be driving along, boom and it'll die. But you can start it right back up instantly. So if something's hidden or safety, I don't know. I, I don't know yet. We gotta dig into it later. But thank you guys for watching. I will see y'all next week. If we can get a bunch accomplished, there might be a Wednesday video again. I'm really pushing my limits here with that stuff, but <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I'm, tr I'm trying to keep it real with you guys and, and keep y'all updated and stuff. So anyways, we will see y'all sometime soon. Uh, if no Wednesday video, I will put some updates up on the community page on the YouTube channel. That way you can click the post, look at it, pictures, cool, badass, race cars, big tires, bullhorns. <laughs> We're tired, it's like one in the morning. The cops got called because we was out doing burnouts in the street. But anyways, peace out guys. Uh, much love to all y'all. We will see y'all soon.